Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Ms. Ariwan Harangsi, who is Secretary General of the Asia Pacific Telecommunity APT. Welcome to the studio. Yeah, good morning, and thank you for inviting me. I'm very pleased to be here with you today. I'd like to start off by talking about the fact that there's considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies, or ICTs, as an enabler for good, uh, for the benefit of uh, the development, for, for people, uh, nations, communities. And I wanted to find out, what is your perspective on this? Yes, actually, ICT itself has been involved, evolved, and uh, in turn, it's helped development in other sectors. You can see, uh, like... Uh, education, uh, mm, trade or business, finance, transportation, energy, etc. So this, this uh, development of ICT uh, has is also tools and application uh, that uh, will help. And it will it make, uh, change the way of lives of people. And it help uh, people to be able to uh, communicate each other and uh, make life easier. Uh, some people may work at home, so they can have more time with the family. And then uh, I can say that young entrepreneurs can uh, use ICT to start their business. And for the government, the government use ICT to provide uh, service to the citizens. Uh, for example, for the education, for the uh, e-government service and all every every kind of service that they can apply the ICT and we need the uh, affordable resilient and I can say the stability of the broadband connectivity but at the same time we have to be uh, to uh, consider the impact of the the other side of internet so we, it, stakeholders have to take care of this now, this plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world agreed on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to ask you, uh, perhaps you could provide some examples of how ICTs are helping to drive sustainable development in uh, the uh, Asia-Pacific uh, region. Oh, yes. Actually, uh, the SDG, uh, there are 17 goals that are for the development that I can say that ICT can help in every, to achieve all the goals. I, but I have to pick up some goals. I cannot talk about 17 goals. Uh, like no poverty, and then education, and equality, inequality. And then you can, I, I mentioned already the use of ICT for uh, helping the other sector for education, and also other sector. But I would like to focus on the, uh, the last goal about the partnership. In, in that goal, they talk about the role of international support to, uh, to the uh, developing of the country. It means that uh, there are many, many issues for, for, for that international uh, for support for the partnership, uh, exclusively the capacity building. In the Asia Pacific, especially from APT, we provide a program for capacity capacity building to, to the member country. Uh, each year there will be around 20 programs for the training course in issue uh, related to ICT. So the government and the private, uh, the, we have member country and also we have the, con the member like we call in the ITU context is sector member to, to, to be trained and then they will bring the knowledge back to their country to uh, to improve the, or to share the knowledge on this. We also increase now, in this recent year, we call it local training. It means that each country will have their telemed. They, in, they propose the issue that they would like to have the training, and we send, we contact our partner to, to, to their country, send instructor. Apart from this, APT has the program to uh, help, like pilot project, to help the our member as well. We cannot provide a uh, financial support all, but we can create, each country can create the pilot project. For example, the ICT program for empowering people, empowering uh, 
home worker, so they can use internet for this. So this is just a few examples. Now about half of the world's population are connected to the internet and the other half is not. I wanted to find out uh, how do you think uh, it would be the best way to get everyone connected? Mm. This, is, has, this has been mentioned for, for, for quite long. For the context of APT, uh, we provide the uh, we are the platform for the uh, policy maker and regulator industri industry to come together to discuss how to provide this. And we have every five years we have a ministerial meeting to discuss to provide vision. I remember 2009 minister came together in Bali, Indonesia, and talking about to encourage to have the broadband connectivity because they think that this is the way that to provide a fundamental infrastructure. And then after that, 2014, they moved a little bit further to use the ICT to uh, building digital uh, economy. And then next year, there will be another ministerial meeting. But anyway, what I try to say is that we all stakeholders have to come together and we APT provide a platform to discuss and share best practice and knowledge. So the model in one country might not be 100% being used in other country, but can, can be example private partnership that have been using for, I mean, in many country. Then, uh, for example, the uh, uh, universal service fund, some country may be able to use efficient, effectively, but some may not. That, that's what APT can provide a platform so a uh, member can learn and then share, and then we also invite speaker to help. So that, that's the way APT can help together our member. Finally, is there a message that you would like to uh, share to uh, both the participants here at the IT Planning Potentiary Conference, but also to our wider audience as well? As Secretary General of the uh, APT, which is one of the regional, uh, tele considered by ITU as a regional telecommunication organization or IT RTO, I can say that we have been working together with a uh, partner organization, but ex ex especially ITU, I, I can call that ITU is not just a partner, but uh, we call ITU and UNSCAP as our parent organization. Because in 1976, it was, it was discussed to set up APT, and it's just uh, IT also support that idea. So later in 1979, APT was established. So we consider UNSCAP and ITU our parent organization. So every from the beginning, we have been work closely. But uh, for I hope that uh, I also congratulate the new elected official. Then uh, we have been working together for many years, and then. I, I am sure that we, our cooperation will continue. Sure it will, and we look forward to catching up with you again at some stage in the future, but thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you very much also. Thank you. Thank you.